Yes, 11.30 will be fine. And uh, what shall I bring? Uh, apart from my checkbook. <laughs> uh, will you have seen Peter before then? Get Quiet! I'm trying to talk to the solicitor. <sighs> Sorry about that. Hi. Uh, you were saying? Oh. What have you done? Oh, that is the third time this week. Yeah, well, thank you, Mr. Cullen. And I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye. That was embarrassing. Oops, sorry. Oh, no, no, not you. But it's a flaming rainbow loom. She just drops it anywhere. It's uh, Deidre. Well, is it urgent? I mean, she didn't get to sleep till nearly five o'clock, worrying. About Peter. Oh, it wasn't the price of fish. About next week. Sorry, I'm not with you. Oh, the trial, it starts Monday. The 13th. I'm lucky for some. Uh, I'll get off then. Right. See you. Right. OK, so we're in here now and we are surrounded by words. You said you'd drop it. That was yesterday. And there's no mistake in burger, so you can't pick them. I don't need to. I've got these. And this. Quick stroll up, nose over the counter, scout around the table, sniff, sniff. Oh, is that meat and potato pie, Roy? Some minced and onion. Oh, just like my mother used to make. I'll have that with chips. Uh, and for you? Um. Chunu baguette. Oh, no, no, no. Um. Uh, ham and mustard. Oh, no, 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 no. Um. Minestrone soup. Yeah, defo. Bread and soup. Ta. So there's such a thing as too much choice. Hey up. BJ Day. BJ. What's Japan got to do with anything? Visiting Jim. Honestly, you'd make a terrible spy. No. I'd use my wiles. <gasps> oh, I'd love wiles, mate. Every yeah, wiles didn't work on Deirdre, did they? First sign of a teary eye, and you folded quicker than a rickety old clothes horse. What's this? Like you'd have done any different. What does Steve say? Say about what? I bet he went off his head. You haven't told him. Told him what? I'm going to visit Jim. <gasps> my terms. My terms, my eye. He's blackmailing her. It's true. He's made it clear. If she stops visiting him, Peter gets it. <gasps> Chances are Peter is going to go down for a very long time. Jim's got to read my lips. I will not be held to ransom any longer. Show you can manage that, big man. I don't need to break into a sweat, though. Shh, what sweat? What a waste. Sure, you sound like your granddad. All that character. You mean all that money? Yeah, she's right. If you're turning this into a bar. You make a feature of those times. Yeah, I call it Butcher's Block or something. Except it's not a bar, it's a community centre, and the budget is loading this pocket money. What? Maybe Tracy Cable's all along there. We? Oui. I just think it's a shame. So sorry for your loss. Have a coaster. <laughs> Hey, we could save these. Do a mosaic. Bobby G, you'd love that. I oh, yeah, pass that bag. Oh, what's the trainers? Told you, oldest and scruffiest gear. You're at a building site, not a catwalk. Hey, I've got standards to maintain. How are we doing? Yeah, we're doing fine. As for the grandkids, so. Every little helps. You haven't forgotten we need to finish early this evening. The family tea, right? It's Eid. I have been cooking since Thursday. Legend. A lamb with sticky pomegranate sauce. Leanna thinks she's died and gone to heaven. I mean, are you sure you don't want me to blow dry it? I've got time. No, I'm dashing. Things to do, people to see. Trim's fine. Cheap skirt. Maureen's feeling a bit fragile today, aren't you? It's at a beer festival all weekend with the mates. Mm, get her to dry you on low. No. Have you still not had your drink? I think Kylie's on go slow mo. <laughs> Why don't you let your hair grow, Mo? <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, while that develops, you have a nice read in peace, eh? Just say no, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> David, what about one do you miss, will you? She's been like this for weeks. Well, she, she has been ill. Well, we all need the odd duvet day, but if you're coming back to work, then work. Yeah, she is. She just needs a little nudge every now and again, that's all. Hi, 
may wonder who returns. You want me to stick her up? Have a nice time in Southampton. It was cool. Business was good. People sound. But you had to be with a crack of dawn, eh? Didn't even stop for breakfast. Yeah? You miss where I feel that much? Mm. Is it where the field, though? Oh, is it a certain local landlady? I don't mind admitting I put my boot down on the M6 at the door. Of her bitter. Of her hospitality. Yeah, I bet you did. <laughs> anyway, catch you later. Bye. <laughs> Boys, what about it? We're meant to be saving up. What's the point of me scrimping, making do with a dry cut if you're going to blow all your wages on butties? But it's wet. Your hair. <sighs> wow. You look even better than I remembered. Oh, I wasn't expecting you until tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no point in hanging around. I thought lunch, bit of shopping, maybe even check into a small hotel. Oh, that sounds fabulous. Not this afternoon, though. I've made arrangements. Unlike them. Is that unreasonable? I want to spend time with the woman I love. Did you just... Yes. Days drag. I just couldn't wait to get home and see you. Oh, I've missed you, too. Mm. Mm. I don't know what it is. I my skin go. I've overstepped the mark. I'm a clown. No. No, you haven't. I feel exactly the same. I have done for a while, but I just didn't dare say it, that's all. Oh, why didn't you tell me you were coming? I can't pull out of it. It's an old mate, Teresa. She split with her husband. I promised I'd meet her for a coffee. Just... A few hours, and then I'm all yours. <laughs> mm. Mm. You're not just doing this to make me sweat. Oh, yeah, that's me. Treat him mean, keep him keen. This is a community project. Every penny counts. You think I can stand all these workers down without pay while we wait for you to show? Sorry. Sorry enough to reflect it in your bill, I hope. Come on. One day she'll fall off that high horse and there won't be a stampede to help her up. Well, her family seem fond. Oh, Stockholm Syndrome. Now, let's face it, you'd have to be brainwashed. <laughs> really? Emily? Norris? How are we today? We're, we're both tickety-boo. We can't say the same for you, can we? Oh, it's hard work, but it'll be worth it. Huh? On our doorstep, a fantastic resource for the young and old alike. Young, certainly. Your wife's made it perfectly plain there'd be no place for the likes of us grumblies. Oh, <laughs> us? I thought the plan was to bring the community together. Hiya. Hiya. Are you on your own? Yeah. Tony's back. Shall I uh, cancel your cab? No, no. I've said to him that I'm going to visit an old mate. All right, and he believed you? Yeah. He loves me. He's just told me. What? Well, just slips off the tongue, stuff like that. Oh, no, you didn't see him. He meant it. Well, what am I doing? Well, the honest answer. I'm going to tell Jim that this is my one and only visit. I've got my own life to be getting on with. Well, you could tell him that in a, in a letter, you know, instead of lying to the man that you love. <laughs> well, that's it. I'll tell Deirdre and I tell Jim that after today, I'm out. Tony is going to be my priority. Time to tell me this was yesterday when I could have done something about it. What? Do you expect me to drive back to Southampton to do your job for you? Don't you hang up on me. Neville! Who are these people? Oh, Easy there, Tiger. Seriously, what have happened to a straight conversation? You got me there. Why can't people tell it like it is instead of sharking mine behind your back as if you're not going to find out eventually? Ah, uh, well, you'll think I'm biased, which I probably am, but there is more to it than meets the eye. We talk. We're close. Liz has been keeping Jim at bay for years. 
I mean, she didn't even want to go there, but it's Deirdre. Deirdre? Yes. Peter got battered in prison. I mean, we don't know whether it had anything to do with Jim yet, but Jimmy's now saying that he can offer Peter protection. And Deirdre, of course, is Liz's oldest mate. Mm. Yeah, so all I'm saying is don't judge. I mean, she wouldn't set foot inside that prison unless she had a gun to her head. She's going there today? Yeah, where do you think she's...? Oh, um, I put my foot in it, haven't I? You shed some light. Oh, are you fuming with her? No. Are you fuming with me? Grateful. Sure, it's no big deal. I've been away, wires get crossed. Liz is a big-hearted woman. Sometimes people take advantage. Yeah. See ya. Green tellies, we've got a couple of buyers already. Hey, am I invisible or what? Oh, who put that there? Was it you, Z? No, I'm asking, was it? Yes, Sarge. Grow up. What Jay said, dump it anywhere. Yeah, not on the step. Oh, sorry, Sarge. Dan. Z, I want that with a spoiler. Come on. Look, right, do it properly. We'll go home and out with dinner. We ain't got time. I'm not cooking for that slapper. Dad! You do what I say, yeah? And I say that Leanne's coming to this dinner, and you're gonna sit there like a good son and smile. Yeah, you get a brush and clear that up. I'll do it. No, you won't. He chucked it. Help Gary. Don't make things any worse. Me? Yes, you, your child. Don't you remember being kids? What did they say? That if you believe in something, speak up, stand tall. <laughs> and no one stood taller than Sergeant Nazir. What, and now it's suddenly, shut your mouth, Zidane. Suck it up, Zidane, smile. Well, nah, not me. That woman's nothing to this family. Never will be. You're saying that? Today? The day we're supposed to open up our hearts and our homes? <sighs> oh, uh, sorry, Eva. If you want to take a seat, I'll be right with you. Oh, no, it's all right. I know if it's Kylie who've come to see, actually. Um, it was just about my nail art on my toes. Remember me telling you? Uh, yeah, come over. Oh, well, actually, when I've got my tights on, so I'm best going in the back, really. <laughs> of course, yeah. Oh, bless her. She has to take her tights off when it's time to count her change. <laughs> <laughs> that was subtle. Well, what am I supposed to do with David? He's flapping. I was sick of waiting for you to... Well, I can't move. He's watching me like a hawk. What does he know? No. No, he just... He cares about me. Poor daft beggar. Eva, look, I know what you're thinking. But I'm not going back. Not to Callum. Not to the Wiz. It's always right about the drugs. Kyla, Wendy Farmer's here for you. Uh, yeah, just one minute. On my life. What if Callum comes looking for you? He won't. Kyla is sharp. He's a businessman. Well, then I'd be wasting his time because I'm not buying. You see, I don't need reminding how skanky that world is. I've seen it with my own eyes. This is my life now. With David and the kids. Good mates. We are, aren't we? I mean, I know we've never hijacked a bus around, but we have a laugh, don't we? You're the best. I've got to go. I stuck my neck out for you. I mean, he's got to learn. Leanne. Well, maybe I don't want to be the lesson. Look, tonight's supposed to be a celebration, fun. And if I'm there, it won't be. So Zidane's won? No, because if you get yourself round to mine tomorrow night, we can uh, make some fun of our own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bad luck is that. Oh, you're still speaking to me, then? Well, it depends if you're going to bang on about you-know-what. Just imagine how much better your life could be. <laughs> oh. oh. Told you it was bad luck. <laughs> Look, it's not like when you were at school. They're not going to stick you in the corner with the Janet and John. What do you know about Janet and John? Oh, stop changing the subject. Look, I've still got all that adult literacy bump. 
We'll get rid of it, otherwise Sophie will think it's yours. She thinks you're thick enough already. Smile, and not just from the mouth. Huh. Oh, hello. Olive Branch, we got off onto the wrong foot, or rather I did. The community center is meant for everyone, <laughs> elders included. We should be tapping into your knowledge, Emily. Not another endangered species, Emily. When will you learn to... Oh. <laughs> we wondered if you would like to come to dinner. It's Eid al-Adha. Mm. When Ibrahim was asked to sacrifice his son, Ismail. Your imam gave a most entertaining talk after the ecumenical oh. service last week. We know it as Genesis 22, of course. Abraham and Isaac. Yasmin's a wonderful cook. I hope you'll be the judge of that. At uh, what time? You see, we tend to eat early because uh, uh, Emily's digestive system is rather delicate. Oh, it sounds <laughs> lovely, thank you. May we bring something? Just yourselves. And uh, how many chilies will it score on a scale of one to five? One to five. There'll be plenty of dishes. You won't go hungry, Norris. Our address? Any time after six? Oh, thank you. I, I look forward to it. <laughs> thank you. we better stock up on antacid tablets just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Might I join you for a moment? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, that was miles away. You're working on an article. Oh, if only. No, I've just come from a meeting with Peter's solicitor. You know, the court case. It's suddenly horribly real. I'm called as witness for the prosecution. Of course you are. I should have realised. I'm duty bound, of course, to describe exactly what I, I saw. I would expect nothing less of you. Peter was very agitated. Uh, yeah, I, th I think. Uh, Probably we shouldn't discuss this, you know, sub and all that. But he needs saying, and prosecution are bound to exploit the fact, and it is a fact. Whatever's said by barristers, however words are twisted, I do hope it won't come between our friendship. Never. Uh, I'm not sure I can say the same for Deirdre. How is she coping? Busted. Mm. Oh, that'll stain. It's one pound five p for a coffee. And what's that? Cake. Must be at least three quid's worth. Three twenty. <sighs> I had to ask for extra strong. I was nodding off at the machine. I told Carla there was roll works on the M60. I had to point to a lay-by to have a power nap. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? It'll be worth it. When I see Art Craig release the turtle doves and you slide that ring on my finger. That is what you were thinking. Do you know what I'm starting to realise why no one else would take this job on? It's bad enough being screwed on the price by Yasmin, but these two. That's families, isn't it? Me and my old man used to row all the time. I tell you what, I'll take Cal inside, you keep him here out here, and seconds away. <laughs> uh, he's a good lad, really. Just misses his mum. Uh, Cal? I've locked that lot off. I need to rip that corner section of pipe work out. How are you with a crowbar? Sounds more like wind ass territory. Uh, crowbars, jemmies. Oh, well, I'm a reformed character, a pillar of the community, thank you. Besides, it needs a bit more muscle, so go on, get stuck in. Do you know what? I don't get it. What's the point of all this? Um, dosh? For you? What, you think that your grand and granddad are paying as the going rate, do you? Oh, so you're doing a favour for Dad? And because I think this place could be good. Mm. What about you two? Oh, well, helping Gran. Okay, so she's been hassling for grants, chasing dodgy engineers, cooking for England. You two? Well, we've done our bit today. No, you've done your best impression of the Chuckle Brothers without the chuckles. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. At least I know now. Tomorrow, I'm bringing hard hat and headphones.
I'm not sure I like being told off by you. Did you call that a telling off? What was it then? Well, around here we'd probably call it a joke. You think I'm a princess, don't you? <laughs> you do. I think you're beautiful. Teas, coffees, waters. So Dan's taking orders for the first time in his life. <laughs> um, tea. No sugar, please. Gary? Oh, uh, yeah, tea, two sugars to her. Oh, and chocolate. Tell him, don't forget the chocolate. Don't tell me your pal Teresa stood you up. I couldn't tell you. You could have tried. This is not about me and Jim. I came here today for Deirdre. Oh, well, that's why you all doled up to the nines, for Deirdre. No! Oh, it's about pride. I want him to know I'm doing well and happy without him. We said we'd be straight with one another. It's just one From visit. the off, we said we're not kids, we're not going to play games. That's right. And here you are, playing games! <gasps> Tony, I meant what I said today. You are the one I love. This is no threat. Prove it. Get in the van. Oh, so now who's playing games? I gave my word I'd come. Come home with me now, or we're finished. Coronation Street's back in half an hour.